Okay, okay. I'm back. Gonna do another Yu-Gi-Oh! Lex of Duelist video. So I'll come up. I'm, I'm up against a vampire lady next. In the second shadow rider, yeah. Uh, well, the second shadow rider, Kamula, happens to be a vampire, by the way. Defeated Doctor Crawler Insane, taking both of their spirit keys and trapping their souls into dolls. It was up to Jaden to put an end to her madness. Yeah, because it's a ha because it happens to be a shadow game. Involving the Shadow Realm, which is something that was, was stuff which was something that took place in, in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series. Uh, from what I recall, Jaden. Well, from what I recall, thanks to the Shadow Magic from the Shadow Realm, uh, that sort of thing is possible in the as part of the storyline of the series. If that makes sense. Alright oh, Camilla, I'm here for my friends, souls, and I am not leaving till I get them. Truth, to, truth be told dear, you are not leaving here ever again, not a single one of you. Camilla, you'll get your game on, and I mean on high, because when someone doors my house and turns a source into some dolls, it puts me in a bad mood. And let me tell you something, I don't care, ha ha ha. Maybe this will change your mind. As, as to the tradition of me playing this game, I'm going to stick with the story deck. And I will only use the in-game, and I'll use, I don't only use one of my own decks if I... If I... what? If I... Don't have much of a choice. Okay, I'm going to summon Clayman in defense. And I'm going to activate reinforcements. To add... The Bastentrix to my hand. Now, I don't know if I have Fusion Gear or not, but... Luckily, with Terraforming, I'll be able to check. For those of you that don't know, Terraform is a spell card that lets you uh, take a look at any and all. Uh, it lets you take a look at any and all uh, few spell cards you have in your deck, and then add one of them to your hand. I'll agree to draw two cards. Ooh, I activate another one. Or armor. Enough on these. This size to add. Elemental Hill Wilder or Wild Man to my deck. Now I activate Fusion Gate. Okay, what fusion monsters do I have? Wild Edge, Thunder Giant, Tempest, Shining, Blair Wind Man, Rampart Blaster, Mudball Man, and Flame Wind Man. Okay, Doki. Okay, I'll remove and play Elemental Hills, Bestentrix, and Avion. That's where I can now fusion summon Flame Wingman. In attack position. Now I'm going to use the effect of Fusion Gate once more. I've used the wild heart I added to my hand with one of my two blade edges. This way I can help fusion own wild edge. Let me just put my bottle drip down because I was having a few sips of my drink.
I'm gonna keep my claim on a defense. For those of you that don't know, Flame Ring Man has the ability where whenever he destroys an opponent's monster in battle and sends that monster to the graveyard, he can actually, um, the opponent will then lose life points equal to the original attack number of that monster. Yeah, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon is a spell card that lets you target one spell or track card on the field and destroy it. Now, I don't need to worry about using it because, for obvious reasons, but it don't matter. I sacrifice these two monsters to bring out Blade Edge. Blade Edge will attack first. And well, and playing with my will that was attack. <sighs> Jaden defeated Camilla, free insane and Dr. Crowder's souls from the from the dolls. That scheme. At last the nightmares finally over. The this one at least. Kano was just the second of the Shadow Riders, and that means more are on the way. That's true. Okay, now in the next video, I'm going to be going up against the third Shadow Rider. And uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video, hit the like button if you did, comment down below what your thoughts are and subscribe, and until next time, goodbye for now everybody, and stay safe.